but we didn't. I didn't ask you about the book. Uh oh. How the fuck did that all come about? Pretty rad. I'm pretty proud of that too. You should be. Uh, well, the guy that okay, we did a TV show called Backstage Passport, and the guy there's two guys, Ryan Harlan and Jeff Alulis, filmed it and edited it and did the whole fucking thing. And I don't think they had they had maybe done one other film, but Jeff Alulis. I think Mike proposed to him, like, hey, dude, would you want to write a book? Not like the typical, like, rock star, like I was doing fucking blow off of four strippers' asses. And yeah. Fucking, you know, you don't know how tiring it is, fucking nine <laughs> chicks at once. No, not that. It was like every band has a story, and it's the personal story. It's who the band members are. So if we do a book, we want to do a book. We want it to be about the individuals. So Jeff had never written a book before in his life. And he said, okay, I'm willing to take on that 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 uh, task. Yeah. So we each did probably about 40 hours of interviews, like throughout, like, you know, six months, you know, a couple hours here, a couple hours there. And the interviews weren't so much as interviews, more like just talking and, you know, and stuff like that. And then Jeff wrote the book. So we didn't do the hard work. We just told story, just told what's inside. Yeah. You know, he fucking created that fucking, that, that book. Dude, what I absolutely loved about it was it came from your guys' minds, right? But it's so funny to hear the same story coming out from different members in the band, but such different perspectives. Dude, it's funny. He actually hit me up one time. He's like, dude, I got to ask you something. When I ask you guys, when I ask you a question, you, Hefe, and Mike's stories, yeah, there'll be differences, but they align. Yes. He goes, has Melvin always been that fucking thing? <laughs> he goes, well, I'll say, we'll all say, oh, we were in Nebraska. It was blah, 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 blah. And Melvin will go, oh, we were in fucking China. And then fucking, you know, <laughs> it, 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 his story's like, it never fucking, but that's his perspective. Yes, it's all But perspective. yeah, that's the whole thing. It's like, we each tell individual stories or talk about feelings, whatever. And then it's the other person's take on it. And then how they, how they sink or don't sink or whatever it may yeah. be. Yeah. And the audio book was fucking awesome, man. Thank you. It's so like, I remember when that dropped, I was like, definitely. And, um, and then I just went through it so fucking quickly, and I was just so pumped about it. And it's just so cool to hear. Like, I, I've never, um, maybe The Dirt is something similar. Yeah, the Motley Crue one. Yeah, the Motley Yeah, but isn't that more, I didn't read it, but isn't yeah. that more like ego talk? Yeah, oh, 100%, 100%. Rockstar you're, talk? Yeah, you're Rather definitely. than like, you know, like, no, we have to expose who we are. 100%. You guys peeled back the layers. Right. Very, very deep. They they, they did not. It was all just rock star shit. But I was just trying to think of like yeah, that, something where it was just like the mem the band members all speaking about their, you know, own experiences. That was sort of like, I don't know, that was sort of like, okay, there's the dirt. It did really well. And I didn't read it, but I heard it was really good. Yeah, it was. But it was not deep. It wasn't personal. It was like, yeah. we have to do that, but about us yes. who we are our traumas our you know what makes us the person that we are yeah you know yeah yeah that, that when it came out were you were you nervous were you afraid i mean because you guys it's, exposed a lot there's two things there's two things that um when i got the first manuscript the first draft yeah i read it and i was like fuck it's really good it's really good i really liked it and a couple little changes here and there and then when the book came out, I read it again. And and the family stuff, whatever, I just went through it, whatever. But then I talked some shit about this woman that I had a relationship with, a, a one-night stand or whatever, yeah. in a certain state. And I made fun of her appearance, and I made fun of her weight. And I was like, fuck. She's probably going to read this. And it's probably going to hurt her fucking feelings, and that is not cool. So I and I can't take it back, and and I feel really bad about that because that's you know I was telling a funny story, but at her expense, not realizing that however many people are going to read it, and then later on I started doing interviews about the book, and people would ask me questions about my childhood and about my upbringing, and you know I exposed some ugly truths about the family, and um. My mom read it, and she was she understood and was cool with it. But she told my dad, "Don't read it. It's it's not going to do you any good." And just the fact that my story, everybody's story is their story, and they have the right to speak it. Yes. But my dad and I didn't have a good relationship as as a kid, and we have a very good relationship now. And the fact that 
It, he's a very stoic, hard, tough man, but it's all because he's very soft on the inside. I don't want him to hurt. I don't want him to hear about it or read about it and and hurt him because we're not there. We don't need to be there. You know, yeah. him and I are totally cool. Well, so those are the two things that like my story and my words in a book, one, probably did hurt somebody pretty bad and two, has the potential to really hurt my father. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Do you think you read it? No. He told me he wasn't going to read it and it's funny, like all the stories in the book, okay, my dad... My dad's like this big dude. He's fucking hard. He's like, doesn't put up with shit. And when we were touring with the guy Jeff and Ryan, the guys in the band would tell stories about my dad, right? Yeah. And uh, so when, and then, so my dad's kind of a scary guy. And then when it came time to do the book, I had the guy Jeff meet, my, my dad lives up in the ghetto in Bell Gardens. Yeah. And I had to go get something at my dad's shop. And the guy Jeff that's doing the book had heard stories about my dad. <laughs> we walk into my dad's shop and it's like full on Sanford and Son junkyard. <laughs> and I go, Hey dad, this is Jeff. He's the guy writing the book. And my dad looked at him and goes, you better not paint me to be a fucking asshole. You dick. Ah, let's and go. threaten Jeff right there. <laughs> and, and Jeff, I just could just see him just quick. <laughs> That's the only interaction that Jeff had with my dad. I love that man. Yeah. yeah it, it's, um, I, I respect what you just said, you know, apologizing shit happens, man. It is your story. And, it is what it is, but it was a it was a great piece of art, and it's it's really cool that. Do I, I, let me say this: Has you, have your kids ever read it? My daughter read it. Okay. Uh, did she have questions? Yeah, she did. Yeah. She did. Uh, we talked them through. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Um, she actually. Um, yeah. No, it was it was all good. Yeah. The my sons now, you know, fucking teenagers. Yeah. I don't give a shit. 